So I've recently gotten back into Warframe to try out the new patch and mess around with the new shards and arcanes. I haven't played in many months so I decided to look up some YouTuber builds in order to get some inspiration. Unfortunately, especially with the new shards, there are many builds popping up that aren't really practical for the vast majority of content and players out there in Warframe. Particularly Mesa this video is something I want to talk about because she is one of my favorite frames of all times and I've been around long enough to be pretty knowledgeable regarding the game and Mesa in particular. I noticed some major issues with the current YouTuber builds that I want to address as they illustrate a general issue that I want to talk about when it comes to building Warframes. In this video I will look at specifically Brozymes and MH Blackie's Mesa builds. But before I get into it I want to say that this is by no means a callout or a personal attack. Please consider this friendly, constructive feedback by a fellow Warframe boomer, so to say. I expect to receive the same amount of feedback and criticism if necessary, and I do appreciate any feedback I can get. If this video sounds a little scripted, that's because I've written down a lot of things. It's gonna get pretty technical, and I want to make it as coherent as possible. Brozyme uses two emerald charts in order to allow the regulators to armor strip at 14 corrosive stacks. This sounds great in theory, but it's not really practical whatsoever. I'm going to demonstrate why in a bit here, but before I need to show some differences in between our builds. First off, I do not use a crit mod on my regulators. I have outsourced that to my shards. In this case, it's going to be 175% crit chance. So it's a little less than the prime mod. But what this allows me to do is free up a mod slot for more damage. In this case, however, to make the build as identical as possible, I'm going to leave it empty. Next up, for sustain, I use Equilibrium. I do not use Energy Nexus. I have personally tried it. I do own the mod, but I found that Equilibrium in almost all cases is just way better sustain. My Worm is the Sentinel that I use. The build is the same. I would normally use Reinforced Bond here to get some more fire rate, but in order to keep the build basically the same, I have not used that. I'm also using the gate for a bit more survivability. Alright, so I had to do some extra killing here because I do not have a crit mod and I used the shards. So at the top you can now see that I have my 100% initial combo, as well as my bond, as well as my crit chance from my shards. In reality, the crit chance is going to be a bit lower than what Brozem has in his build. But this is even better for us because we can see that no matter what I do here, we are not going to strip these enemies. That was a proc of 8 at most. This guy died at 5 procs. This guy died at 3. Four procs. Just take one real slow here. Four, six, eight. Another four. And so on. You can even see that the special officer that Prozam spawns in his video, they also die at around four or five corrosive stacks. So the issue with this is that these enemies do not get armor stripped whatsoever. We will have to apply 14 procs in order to strip these enemies and realistically that is not going to happen until you reach very late game and by that i mean unnecessary late game in terms of actual daily warframe progression at no point will you ever fight against level one two three thousand and so on without intentionally making it a challenge run if you log in to warframe every day and just do your content you will never get any use out of these shards the same issue can also be found in MH Blackie's build. Now he does not use Emerald shards whatsoever, but he uses free 6060 mods in order to proc status. He claims this to have insane status chance, but when you look at the clip from his own video, you will see that these Acolytes die with four. Four corrosive procs. There is no way realistically that you will ever strip these types of enemies. So you might be wondering why am I making this video critiquing these builds and there are only really two reasons. For one, I would like to make these build videos that people release more practical and less theoretical nonsense. Saying that Mesa's regulators have such insane fire rate that low status doesn't matter might be a true statement in theory, but if you simply tested this sufficiently you would realize that almost any enemy in this game will be dead before you have applied any real amount of status. 
there's nothing wrong with these builds in terms of quality, don't get me wrong. They're both good builds that will carry you through pretty much any content in the game. What I dislike with these type of videos is that there is no explicit statement saying that this build only gets its full value against extremely high level enemies. Specifically, Brozyme's build will be completely useless in terms of armor stripping for almost any content in the game. For this video in particular, I tested Brozyme's armor strip mesa all the way to level 450 steel path survival and I did not strip a single enemy or any acolyte whatsoever. I killed well over 20,000 enemies over multiple hours and did not receive any value from these shards yet, which are the whole point of the build as advertised in the video. Yes, in theory I can go to higher enemies and fully armor strip all of them and the build is strong, I'm not denying that, but ask yourself this, how often do you do a 3 hour steel path survival? How often do you do that with Mesa specifically? Now, how often would the average Joe do this? Most of them just farm with Korra in some infested survival. Warframe build videos, especially by large YouTubers, have a lot of impact on what people spend their time and resources on. Therefore, it needs to be a lot more clearer, in my opinion, what type of build is meant for what situation and what type of resources should be invested in what scenario and for what reason. Unfortunately, this type of information is either completely missing or simply barely mentioned in most of the recent videos I've seen on YouTube. The current Warframe YouTube meta seems to be to simply release some theoretical nonsense build that could theoretically kill level cap enemies but will never see practical use in 99% of the Warframe content that any given player would do on any given day. The far more practical solution would be to showcase builds optimized for everyday Warframe activities, which in Mesa's case specifically would be to simply build more damage on their weapons. That way the average Warframe player can actually make use of it in their average playthrough. Then, if you do desire to kill max level enemies or go overkill, by all means slap armor strip on your regulators or whatever floats your boat and release that as a video, but please clearly state that this is a specific build that will only truly shine in a specific scenario so that some poor schmuck with two Archon Shards doesn't blow his precious resources on something that he will never get full usage out of.